So you want to do an interview. Great. We need good interviewers in this world. Um, so there are some key points I would like to make sure that you are trained on before you get to your first interview so that we can make sure we get some good interviews recorded, things we can use. First of all, make sure you don't forget the tips on framing your shot. With an interview, you want at least their shoulders in the shot. You don't want an extreme close-up, so you want like a mid-shot, their shoulders in it. Remember your rule of thirds. It is good to have a little bit of nose room in front of them. And notice the guy, he is looking away from the camera. He's not looking into the camera. During an interview, your subject will be looking at you and trying to answer your questions. It makes the subject a little more comfortable and more able to answer the questions, and it's how they typically do it in news, so it looks natural. If it's the principal or somebody wanting to talk directly to the audience, then they can look straight into the camera. You'll adjust your camera so that they are centered, but their eyes should still be on the top third. So remember, eyes are on the top third, not a lot of headroom above, but enough that there's a little space between the hair and the top of the shot, and make sure that they are not facing this way so that um, all this stuff is behind them. That would look awkward. Be sure to check your audio. To do that first you need to make sure you have headphones that they're in and that you can hear the audio from the camera. Sometimes it'll be difficult to distinguish is this audio from the camera or is this audio I'm just hearing past the headphones. You can adjust the headphone levels by going into the camera settings. But also you should, if you're looking at your camera in auto, switch it to manual real quick so that you have the opportunity to check the audio levels and make sure they're bouncing as well. Okay, um, eyes on the interviewer, that's what I was referring to with, you don't want your interviewee looking straight in the camera, just tell them they can look at you, you guys are just having a conversation, you have some questions for them. Don't forget, the first thing you need them to say on camera, a great opportunity to check their levels, is can you state your name, title, and then spell your name just so we can make sure that our editors put it together correctly. It's great, then we know how to say their name, then we know how to spell it, and we can make sure it's done well in editing because we have that check right there with us. Generic and specific interview questions. So. I'm going to give you some generic starter questions that you can take into possibly any interview and hopefully adapt them to your circumstance. But you should try to think always, what specific questions can I ask about this scenario? What do I need to know? So anytime you're heading to an interview, what would the listeners want to know? What would the audience want to know? And so what should I be asking for them? So that leads us to... While we're talking, let me offer you some free advice. Talk less. What? Smile more. You can't be serious. Nobody says it better than Aaron Burr and Hamilton. Yes. You need to listen and ask follow-up questions. So keep your focus on the subject, not the interviewer. A lot of times the interviewer is so interested in being part of the interview, and maybe they're a, a big talker. And so they jump in and they say too much. Um, make sure that you are not taking over the interview. You want your person to be the main talker. You're just encouraging them to do the speaking. You're not Oprah. Don't interrupt them. Make sure that they get to say what they want to say. Don't be uncomfortable with pauses. Sometimes the pause gives them a time to think about what they want to say, and then they can pitch in. Um, Try to get them to answer in complete thoughts. A lot of times you may ask a question and they'll say, yeah, I think so, or something like that. You need them to say what they're thinking about because when you edit this interview, it's great if you can keep yourself out of it and you just have them be the subject of the interview. So you don't want to ask yes or no questions, but if you have to, make sure you ask a follow-up question where they can elaborate and people can tell what they're saying yes or no to. Um, in the end, when it's edited, it's best not to get an off-camera reporter question into the interview, but if we have to, we can. Um, be sure you get the key info. Key info is the who, what, when, where, why, and how. So who is involved in what's going on? What are they doing? When is this happening? How long is it going on? 
where does all this happen? Why are you doing this? And how can somebody be involved are typical questions you'd want to think of. So if you need the list, go ahead and check back and think about that. Seek out a good quote. Um, so while they're speaking, be thinking, oh yeah, I think that that summarizes what's going on here. That's probably what we're going to put in the news. That way, later you don't have to go back and listen through the whole interview. You probably will, but you know that key spot that you can zone in on. And if you didn't get anything, that can be a cue that you still want to ask more follow-up questions and try to get stuff. Um, don't You probably won't plan to use your whole interview because we... I mean, five-minute interviews can be boring for an audience. We just want to get the key facts. But record as if you're using the whole interview. So don't let some people come and talk in the background or something awkward be going on because that may be the key piece that you want to include in your interview and um, now it's ruined. So here are my list of generic questions that I'd like you to consider using. Name, spelling, title. Remember, don't forget those. Very important. Um, what's going on? That's a great one to just always ask at the beginning. Even if you already know what's going on, getting them to summarize it is a great way to start your package. Who's involved? What's the goal? What are you guys trying to accomplish? What are you hoping will come out of this? What impact will it have? So if you win this trophy, what are the consequences with the team? Will you move on to the next round? It's always good to know what will happen next. What other details can you give? Um, that's great for times, places, donations, all the other stuff. So this is a list of generic questions that should help you out. Um, covering events is a different monster, so we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but now that you have this to think about with interviews, I would like you to go through and practice some. So pick a few topics off of our Skeeto Bite news announcements list or off the Facebook or Twitter from Skeeto Bite news and um, come up with a list of questions or try the generic questions. Record your interview in two different locations a practice interview, two different locations, um, with one of them standing and one of them sitting. That way you have practice in both scenarios. And if you've practiced on mics and audio, then try different mics and different audio and determine which one would probably be the best for this type of interview. So getting practice with the interview will help better prepare you for when you're doing a real interview. So I'd love to see your footage on your practice interview and give you feedback. Um, if you don't have time for the practice interview, then good luck. I hope it works. Thanks for taking on an interview.